Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to welcome you guys to another episode of The Conversation. And the topic I got today is quite serious, and I think a lot of you guys are going to feel me on this topic. So the topic today is we're going to be talking about the biggest robbery in NBA history. That's what I want to get into in this video today. Now, before I get into it, make sure you guys go ahead and hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to the channel right now and hit the notification bell to be notified when all of our newest and hottest content comes out. Um, I shot a lot of videos today, so this, I'm just doing my, my last one for the day. So hopefully you guys can stick with me and ride with me all the way to the end. So as I said, the topic of this video today is the biggest robbery in NBA history. Now, what am I referring to? To me, the biggest robbery in NBA history was the fact that Kobe only won one regular season MVP and the only year that he won that was in the year 2008. So in this video today, I'm going to talk to you about the fact that how for some reason the NBA allowed this robbery to take place and Kobe unfortunately only finished his career with one finals MVP. Now all of you guys know Kobe Bryant, my favorite basketball player of all time. I say it almost every chance that I get. And I was, oh, I've always been sort of like befuddled at the fact that he never won a lot of regular season MVPs. And in this video, I'm gonna be making the case why I think he should have won more MVPs. Now, Kobe, all of you guys know for his career, he's a five-time champion, two times finals MVP, one of the top five scorers in NBA history, 18-time um, All-Star, All-Star game MVP, two-time regular season scoring champion, has the second highest scoring game in the history of the NBA, really carried on the tradition of Michael Jordan, that competitive fervor that MJ brought into the league and sort of continued the legacy of MJ, um, known as an assassin all throughout the league, probably the most respected player to play in his era, right up there with Tim Duncan. So Kobe did a lot for the game and, his, for, and, his, and for his career. Kobe ended up averaging 25 points a game, 5.2 rebounds, and 4.7 assists. But all of you guys know, in, in the waning moments of his career, Kobe ended up getting hurt, and he tore his Achilles, and all of a sudden you saw a drop in his numbers. The year he tore his Achilles, I think with like three games left in the regular season at the age of 34, Kobe was averaging 27.3 points a game, shooting 46% from the field, shooting 32% from the three-point line, 84% from the free throw line. He got you about 5.6 rebounds a game, six assists, and 1.4 steals at the age of 34. And that was the year they were calling him, you know, Vino and all of those things were said. After his Achilles injury, the next season, he only played six games. The year he tore his Achilles, he had played 80, uh, he had played 78 games and he was averaging 39 minutes a game at the age of 34 so just think about how crazy that is and if you put that in comparison Kawhi Leonard is averaging 32 and a half minutes a game at the age of 28 so Mike D'Antoni and the Lakers really didn't do a good job managing Kobe's body um, the second season after he came back from tearing his Achilles he played 35 games and I think he tore his shoulder rotator cuff or whatever it was and he was averaging 34 minutes a game and I think at that point he was 36 years old and his final season at the age of 20 uh, at the age of 37 Kobe played 28 minutes a game that season and it was an abysmal season as far as the shooting but all of that knew at that point all of us knew at that point that he was sort of like on his victory lap it was his last dance so to speak and he was just going around arenas touring and showing people everybody just wanted to get a last chance to pay homage to Kobe Bryant for the great 20-year career that he had. And obviously, we all know about his famous 60-point game to close out his career. So that's how Kobe ended his career as a Los Angeles Laker. Now, um, he's already in the Hall of Fame, but to this day, it still surprises me that Kobe didn't win at least three or four regular season MVP awards. And two seasons that really stick out in my mind where I think he had a really good chance at winning the regular season MVP awards was actually the year when they give it, those years when they give it back to back to Steve Nash. Now, all of you guys know who Steve Nash is. He's very famous for the Mike D'Antoni offense for making it, for popularizing it. He's a two-time regular season MVP winner in 2005, 2006, which I'm gonna to get to. He's an eight-time NBA All-Star. He's a three-time All-First, two-time All-Second. And so he's basically been on seven All 
NBA teams. He led the league in assists five times for his career, which is pretty impressive. He's been a part of the 40, uh, has been a part of the 50, 40, 90 club, uh, you know, four separate times, which is basically you should shoot 50% from the field, 40% from the three, uh, three point line and 90% from the uh, from the free throw line which makes him make, which makes him an extremely extremely efficient uh, shooter and Steve Nash played for you know quite a long time in the NBA and you know he played for 18 years in the NBA for his career he averaged 14.3 points a game three rebounds and 8.5 assists but in those year those two seasons where he when he won the regular season MVP award I just want to just sort of compare the numbers for you guys so you can understand how Kobe also played those seasons and why Kobe, I believe, should have won those regular season um, awards over Steve Nash, but they ended up giving it to Steve Nash. And for me, I think is, you know, I think is a stain on the NBA voters who ended up not giving Kobe those two regular season MVP awards. And we all know that Shaq to this day is still pretty upset about the fact that he didn't win. Um, more than one regular season MVP award, and Shaq is still salty about that to this day. So in the 2005, in the 2004-2005 season, which is one of the seasons when um, Steve Nash won his regular season MVP award, the 2004-2005 season, he played 34 minutes a game. He got 15.5 points a game. That's what he scored per game. He shot 50% from the field. He got he shot 43 percent uh, from the three point line, 88.7 percent from the from the free throw line, and he averaged 11 assists per game with 3.3 rebounds and a steal a game. That was one of the seasons when he won his regular season MVP award. The following season, he played pretty much the same amount of minutes, although his scoring average went up by three points with 18.18 points a game that season. He shot an, a super efficient 53. 0.2% from the field, and he shot 45% from the three-point line, 90% from the uh, from the free throw line, and he got you 11.6 assists a game and 3.5 rebounds and just under one steal a game. Now, if we look at Kobe's stats in those two seasons, Kobe Bryant in the season of 2004-2005, he played 41 minutes per game. He averaged 35 and a half points a game. He shot 46, he, he shot 45% from the field. He shot 35% from the three point line. He, he shot 85% from the free throw line. He got you 5.3 rebounds, 4.5 assists, and 1.8 steals. Now, some of you may say, well, Kobe didn't have that much success. Well, Kobe Bryant never played in the Mike D'Antoni offense. At that point in his career, he did not have the Amari Stoudemire's and, um, and, and, and weapons and like the matrix that Steve Nash had at the time. So there was no way he was going to be able to be as successful, you know, as a basketball player on the court because he simply didn't have the teammates. He, you know, he was playing with Kwame Brown and Lamar Odom at the time, and he just didn't have the pieces. The following season, he played 41 minutes a game. He, shot, he, he scored 32 points a game that season. He shot 46% from the, um, from, from the floor. He shot 34% from the, from the three-point line, 87% from the free throw line. He got you 5.7 rebounds and 5.4 assists, again with 1.4 steals. Now, in both of those seasons, he made it. To, he made it to the playoffs, and one of those seasons was when he played against the Phoenix Suns, with Steve Nash, and we all remember that dunk that when, when uh, because of the loose ball, when Kobe got the dunk after Lamar Odom passing the ball, and he dunked over Steve Nash, and a lot of people around the league were just like, that's his payback for them robbing him of that regular season MVP award. And you got to remember that year when Kobe Bryant averaged 35 and a half points a game. That was the year he also scored 81 points in a regular in a regulation game it was the same season where he scored 63 points and outscored the entire dallas mavericks team by himself after three quarters and charles barkley himself said i don't care what you do but there's no way in hell that somebody scores 81 points in a game in a season their team makes it to the playoffs and he doesn't win the regular season mvp award and i think those two years kobe bryant got robbed for regular season mvp awards now i can obviously going to the fact where I thought that even in his championship years, when he won the championship in 2009 and 2010, he could also have won, 
he could have also have won the um, the MVP award those seasons as well because he put up stellar numbers in 2009 2009 2008 2009 season the guy averaged 27 points a game he I mean he got you you know about five assists a game five rebounds a game he shot for damn near 47 percent from the field that year so he could have conceivably have won an MVP award but in my opinion I think this is the biggest robbery in the history of the NBA that, that Kobe Bryant ended up fin finishing his career with only one regular season MVP award and I think now when we look back I think a lot of us may regret the fact that he only won one MVP award and I put all of that on the voters because they're the ones in my opinion that got it completely wrong so what I want to know from you guys is do you agree with me that Kobe Bryant got robbed and he should have won more regular season MVP awards or do you think that you know one award was all that he deserved for his entire career whatever you guys think please let me know your thoughts and comments in the comment section below uh, below again if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell to be notified when all of our notice and hottest content comes out once again this is charles from dreamers pro wishing you guys an amazing day peace